Hello, nice to meet you. I am Chiaki Kitamura, a professor of Kyushu Dental University. It's my honor to be here and share this time with you. Today, I'd like to show Nishika Canal Sira BG and its evidence and how to use in the webinar. Here I show three steps in the webinar. The first one is I will show Nishika Canal Sira BG. The second, I will show BG Fuel, a special device for the delivery of Nishika Canal Zero BG into the root canal, and the single cone technique with Nishika Canal Zero BG and BG Fuel. And finally, I will show clinical cases and clinical study with Nishika Canal Zero BG and BG Fuel. So let's start from Nishika Canal Zero BG. Here I show the research strategy about bioactive grass-based biomaterials. We are focusing on bioactive grass BG, BG-based root canal zero, and also pulp capping agent and retrofitting materials and uh, root repair materials. And also we are focusing on bioactive grass induced scaffold for dentin pulp complex and bone regeneration. From 2009, we started the collaboration, zero-based collaboration with Nippon Shika Yakuhin Corporation. We carried out preclinical testing in vitro and in vivo uh, experiment. And finally, 2017, Nishika Kinan Sira BZ is available in Japan. We called Nishika Kinan Sira BZ as uh, GSBZ. We are now focusing on further basic research and clinical research, and also post-marketing surveillance. And finally, 2020, Nishika Kinel Sira BZ, CSBZ, is available in Thailand. First of all, in the webinar, I have to say, what is bioactive glass? Bioactive grass is one of bioceramics. And bioceramics is the ceramics that has biocompatibility. There are three types of bioceramics. The first one is bioactive ceramics, such as hydroxyapatite and bioactive grass. It is not resolved and replaced and stably exists in living tissue. Living tissues do not recognize and respond to it as a foreign material. Bioactive ceramics tightly bind to hard tissue such as bone and dentin to the induction of hydrox apatite formation. The second one is bioresorbable ceramics, such as beta TCP. It is resolved and repressed to hard tissues in the body. However, the control of the resorption and replacement in living tissue is very difficult. And the third one is bioinert ceramics, such as almina and zirconia that is uh, used in prosthodontics, as you know. Bioactive grass is one of bioceramics. And 
It is also already used in orthopedic surgery as a bad biomaterial, such as bioactive glass-based injectable biomaterial and bioactive glass coating implants like this. We apply this bioactive glass for dental materials. This is the scheme about the formation of hydrolytic apatite on bioactive glass in living tissue. After bioactive glass contact to the body fluid, silica gel is formed on the surface of BG. Next, the nucleation of hydrolytic apatite occurs from silica gel of bioactive glass surface. And finally, with crystal growth of hydroxyapatite, BG bioactive glass is coated by hydroxyapatite layer. Nishika Canal Sierra BG, CSBZ, is uh, ready by two paste. Paste A includes fatty acid. This must subcarbonate and silicon dioxide. Paste B is magnesium oxide, purified water, bioactive glass, silicon dioxide, and others. Mixing of Nishika Kino Sierra BZ is very easy. You can find the easy mixture in the movie. The working time of the mixture is almost 15 minutes and hardening time, setting time is almost 180 minutes, almost three hours. The hardening mechanism of Nishika Kenel Sira is BZ is saponification. By saponification, acid base reaction of fatty acid and magnesium oxide, the matrix of the cedar hardened. This hardened matrix of the cedar has amphiphilic property. So the body fluid can directly contact over the surface of the cedar. Here I show saponification, acid-base reaction in hardening mechanism of CSBZ. Before mixing, fatty acid is in paste A and magnesium oxide is in paste B. By mixing, acid-base reaction of fatty acid and magnesium oxide start in the mixture. By the progress of saponification, Nishika Kian Sira BZ had. I have to say in the note in the, oh sorry. In the hardening mechanism. A little water do not inhibit saponification. And if a little bit water exists in the situation, local uh, ionization of fatty acid, magnesium oxide by water may accelerate saponification. Here I show the difference of hardening mechanism CSBG, Nishika Kiana Sira BG, and the calcium silicate based serum, such as IROOT SP. As I said, the hardening mechanism of Nishika Kiana Sira BG is saponification, acid based reaction. Basically, this reaction don't, does not need water. And if there is 
a little bit water, the water accelerates saponification. On the other hand, the hardening mechanism of calcium silicate based cedar is hydration reaction. This reaction needs water. The setting time of Nishikakino Sira BZ is almost three hours. On the other hand, the setting time of calcium silicate based cedar is almost four hours. And if you use this cedar in dry root canal, it needs more than 10 hours. Here I show the comparison of Nishikakino cedar BZ, MTA, and the calcium silicate based cedar. MTA, the mineral toy oxide aggregate is not one of bioceramics, but MTA has favorable properties like bioceramics. So in the clinic, we call it bioceramic. After it is available in the clinic, the induction of hydroxyapatite formation has been reported. The main ingredient of MTA is calcium silicate and other, so we call it aggregate. The hardening mechanism is hydration reaction of calcium silicate. Calcium silicate based cedar, such as iRoot SP and BC cedar. Its main ingredient is calcium silicate and operability controllability has been improved better than MTA. And the hardening mechanism of calcium silicate based cedar is hydration reaction of calcium silicate. The induction of a hydroxyapatite formation by CSBZ, MTA, and the calcium silicate based cedar is occurred. Hard mechanism is CSBZ is a saponification acid based reaction of fatty acid and magnesium oxide. On the other hand, MTA and I root SP uh, is hardened by hydration reaction of calcium silicate with water. The pH around each shivers. Uh, is shown in here. CSPG is pH 9.5 to 10.2 by CETA matrix. The pH of MTA and the IOTSP is pH 11.5 to 12 by calcium hydrate as a byproduct of hydration reaction. As you know, hydroxyapatite formation is easy to induce under pH 9.5 to 10.2 than pH 11.5 to 12. From the point of pH, CSBZ makes suitable condition for hydroxyapatite formation. This is the uh, results about the uh, hydroxyapatite formation of CSBG surface. We analyzed pH around the cedar, the surface structure uh, of the hardened CSBG in the simulated body fluid, and the surface composition of the had on the CSBG. pH analysis indicated that pH around the CSBG is 10.3, in which hydroxyapatite can grow and stabilize. 
if we SEM analyze indicated that the hydroxy apatite crystals like this, and also XRD analysis indicate the hydroxy apatite formation. These results indicate that the surface of this sera is covered by hydroxy apatite layer in the body fluid. Here I show the binding to dentin through the induction of hydroxy apatite formations. Here I show the FECM analysis and EDX analysis. This is a uh, head on the CSPZ, and this is the uh, dentin of the root. If we same shows complete contact of the cedar to the dentin surface and the tub like structures in the dentinal tubules like this. EDX shows this mass ion of CSPZ, this green point, and that this mass ion distribute to, distributed into the dentin like this. These results indicate that tag like structures are hydroxy apatite crystals from CSBZ. Here I show the proposal scheme about binding mechanism of CSBG to dentin. This is the SEM photograph, and the scheme shows the interface between dentin and the CSPG. We check this uh, scheme. Hydroxy apatite, apatite layer is formed on bioactive grass in pH 10.3. This pH uh, prepares the matrix of this sera. The CSPG matrix has the amphiphilic property. So hydroxy apatite can grow on all the surface of CSPG. Hydroxy apatite grows in the interface between uh, head and CSPG and the dentin and bind to dentin surface. After bind to, binding to dentin, hydroxy apatite crystal grows into the dentin tubules, like this. We carried out seeding ability test uh, of CSPG. We used simple permeability test. We put the uh, tooth filled, which root canal filled with the cedars and put into the tubes. And the upper side, we filled dye solution. And the lower side, we filled SVF, simulated body fluid. And examine the leakage amount of dye through the uh, root canal into the SBF. As I shown in the graph, the CSPG with a single point technique, single cone technique, uh, indicated the lower leakage as seen in BC CIRA. This results indicate that sealing ability of CSPG is higher than other sealers. We also examined biocompatibility of CSPG. In this slide, I'll show the results of cell proliferation assay and migration assay. In this experiment, we use transwave assay. In the upper side of transwell, we put the cedar and the lower dish, we harvested eight stem cells, cement blast-like cells. 
and analyze the profilations. Here I show the controls without any shader. And in here, I show the results about CSVG. CSVG does not inhibit the cell proliferation as seen in the controls. The lower photographs uh, show the migration of uh, several cells. We used HSM cells, cement blast like cells, HPDLCs, periodontal ligament cells, and MC3T3E1 osteoblast like cells. The black side in the photograph is a hardened CSBG. These photos indicate that all cells can migrate to the hardened cereals and directly contact to the cereals. These results indicate that CSBG does not inhibit proliferation and migration of cells around the root apex. This slide also shows the biocompatibility of CSPG from the point of differentiation. We used HSM cells, cement blast like cells, and uh, carried out transwell assay. And, and also, we uh, used LP staining assay. Here, I show the positive control and the CSPG here. From this result, uh, CSPG does not uh, indicate that CSPG does not inhibit the differentiation of cement plus like cells. This is a, a result of in vivo rat palpectomy model. This is a rat pulp and filled with CSVG or non usual cement cereals. And we analyzed the thickness of cementum in periapical regions in here. And the number of inflammatory cells in periapical regions. We checked the thickness of cementum in periapical region one week and three weeks after surgery. And uh, this result indicate that the thickness is increased. And also we check the number of inflammatory cells. This results indicate that the number of inflammatory cells decreased three hours three weeks after the surgery. These results indicate that CSBG does not suppress the wound healing of periapical tissue. We also checked the interface between CSBG and fiber post collagen construction. In the clinic, after the uh, root canal obturation, we have to uh, the construction of the tooth. And we check the, this interface. And the same analysis indicated that the core region adhered to CSBG via bonding layer. Also, in the clinic, then we sometimes uh, carry a retreatment and we check the removability of CSVG from the root canals. In the retreatment, we can remove the CSVG by mechanically and chemically uh, treatment. So next, 
I have I would like to show the busy few, a special device for the delivery of CSBG into the root canal and the single cone technique with CSPG and BG field. As I said, we studied the translation research uh, from 2009. And 2017, Nishika Kinao BG is available in Japan. At this point, time point, we proposed that we need a special device for CSPG delivery to the root canal. And we started the preclinical -clin pre test for the prototype of device. And 2019, the BG fuel is available in Japan. BG fuel the special device for the delivery of CSBG into the root canal has the special disposable tip suitable for root canal filling. The size of the tip is 0.5 millimeter and the length is 20 millimeter. The taper of the tip is 0.03 and you can find the scales which shows the one canal brome volume in the bottom of the tip. Here I show the setup CSBG and the busy field. After mixing of CSBG, take this CSBG into the tip like this and insert the gasket into the tip. After that, set the tip to the syringe and before using, fill the tip with the CSBG. This is a movie about the single cone technique with the CSBG and the BG fill. First of all, we have to fit the main point to the root canal. After that, fill the root canal with CSBG paste. And then insert the main point into the root canal. If the root canal is large size, you can use accessory points. And then we cut off the excess of point and a little compact. And you can find the time for the root canal feeling almost one minute. Here I show the points to be noted about single cone technique with the CSBG and the BG field. The point one is here. After filling the tip with the CSBG, insert the tip into the canal. The point two is here. When the tip reaches to the root apex, Pull up the tip almost one millimeter. And point three is that push out CSBZ paste gently and slowly and pull up the tip slowly.
This is a, a movie uh, of the feeling with the CSAB, uh, feeling of CSBZ would be the fuel. And uh, the fuel accessory to the canal. This results indicate the, the potential of fuel accessory root canal by single cone technique with CSBG and the BG field. Finally, I will show clinical cases and the clinical study with CSBG and BG field. This is clinical case one. Clinical case one is root canal filling with CSBZ after periapical region treatment of left upper first and second incisor. The left water pre-treatment, you can find periapical region in here. The center is just after filling with CSBZ and uh, a BG fill. The right one is nine months after filling. This case indicates that CSBG does not inhibit wound healing process of periapical tissue. This is a clinical case two. Root canal filling with CSBG after periapical lesion treatment of right upper first and second molars. Here I show the pre-treatment X-ray photographs. And first molar has five root canals, and the second molar has four root canals. And you can see the uh, photographs from cone beam CT. And we can find the fused region of re and the resorption of root apex here. The upper left one is pre-treatment. The upper right one is just after filling. Just after filling, GSPG a little bit overflowed from the root apex, like this. The lower left one is four months after filling. Four months after filling, root apex was reconstructed. Right, left upper one just after filling. And right upper one is one year after feeding. And you can also find the photographs of cone beam CT at pre-treatment and one year after feeding. One year after feeding, root apex remained smooth surface and periapical bone loss recovered here. Also, the thickness of maxillary sinus mucosa returned to normal level. The upper left is just after feeling. The right is one year after feeling. And the lower one is two years after feeling. In two years after feeling, there are no difference uh, as seen in one year after feeding. Whether CSBG accelerates wound healing or regeneration is unclear. So we need further clinical research to clarify the potentials of CSBG. We also carried out clinical study retrospective analysis about post-operative pain after root canal filling with CSBZ. We analyzed the five, 555 cases and analyzed 
incidence of pain during root canal obturation and uh, incidence of pain immediately after root canal obturation. In the clinic, for root canal shaping, we used hand instrument or nighttime files. Root canal irrigations, we used EDTA and NACLO solutions with ultrasonic activation. For root canal medicant, we used calcium hydroxide named Carspex 2. Carspex 2 is a gold standard in Japan and it has non blocking chip and it shows ideal probability. And in the study, uh, the methods of root canal filling is single cone technique is almost 79%. Lateral condensation is 20%. And vertical condensation is 1%. There are no differences among gender, age, tooth type, treatment type, and alteration method in this study. About the incidence of pain during root canal alteration, the no pain is almost 95%. And 4% of patients uh, said this uh, discomfort. And 1% of patients said it has a pain. About the incidence of pain immediately after root canal obturation. 98.5% of patients said there are no pain. And 1% of patients said there are discomfort. And only 0.5% of patients uh, said there, there are pain. And seven days after feeling all incidents, I mean discomfort and pain, disappeared in all patients. In our previous study, incidence of pain immediately after root canal alteration by resin-based or non-usual-based sealers is 11%. In this study, the incidence of pain immediately after root canal alteration is 1.5%. These results indicate that CSBG may suppress post ospirative pain after root canal feeling. In this webinar, I will show the property of Nishika Kinan Zero BZ. BG Fuel, uh, special device for the delivery of root canal Zero BG into the root canal, and a single cone technique with Nishika Kinan Zero BZ and BG Fuel, and clinical cases and clinical study about Nishika Kinan Zero BZ. I hope this webinar contributes to your clinic. Thank you very much for your attention.